Hello everyone and welcome to another The Phone Update video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration of Windows Vista on a EPC 701. As you can see here, this is just a ordinary unmodified EPC, um, the original model. It's with the stock 512 meg of RAM and 4GB um, solid state drive. So um, you're probably thinking, well, this is going to run horribly on this. But it's not as bad as you actually might think. Now some of the fancy features like um, Windows Zero, I'll just start us going here, do not work properly. And um, due to the space limitations, I've had to install a cut down version of Vista. But, I mean, for what it is, it works reasonably well. Um, all the hardware, such as the... Wi-Fi card, the web camera, and everything else works. Interestingly enough, I haven't tested the microphone now I've said that. But um, I'll be sure to give that a go. So as you can see, Windows Vista is starting up there. It's a reasonably quick boot time for a machine of this type. Wait for the chime here. That was a little bit late, but as you can, uh, I was bringing this a bit closer here. There you can see Windows Vista is running Home Basic. I'll just uh, quickly type my password in here. And there you have it. Um, a rather, rather fetching wallpaper there. I'll just swap hands with my camera for a second. Right, we'll go in a little bit closer. Um, as you can probably see already, this is a very cut down version of Vista. Um, the start menu is very, very small and all programs is literally just that. But um, I've left in most of the stuff you'd need on a day to day basis. I mean, you've got a calculator. I've also installed um, OpenOffice it's the portable version which I'll just show you quickly now this is running from the SD card I've installed because there really is not much space left once Vista is installed it's not the fastest of things but it works ok there we go let's create a new text document let's give that a second you can probably already see the Windows Zero does not work it's not supported on this I believe it's the Intel 915 graphics chipset. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm sure. I'm sure you will. And as you can see, that took a little bit of time. But once you're actually um, in there, it does um, function as you'd expect, if a little bit slow. Excuse my keyboard, this machine is a little bit uh, damaged, but I got it really cheap, so hey, I ain't complaining. So uh, there you can see, you can open Microsoft Office documents and the likes. Uh, I'll just quickly show you Google Chrome. Again, this is running from the SD card. There's roughly a gigabyte of space. You can get a little bit more if you can press the drive, but that may slow things down a little. Takes a minute here to bring up Google to start with. Um, I'll go to everyone's favourite video sharing site and um, just show you what the flash performance is like. Uh, yeah, volume's on. So it's um, the bare bones basic Vista experience. I would imagine. Windows 7 would run a little bit better. We'll just press any random video here. I'm sure whoever it is won't mind for testing purposes. I'll just I'll just stop that there in case the uh, original post is a little bit mad. But as you can see, YouTube is perfectly watchable um, and last but not least I'll quickly just go into um, the system properties 
just to give you a little tour here. So as you can see, that is running Windows Vista Home Basic with no service packs. I've just added a little OEM info myself there. And as you can see, Celeron M, 900 MHz, but this is still underclocked to 630. And uh, 512 MB of RAM, but some has been used for the chipset. So that has just been a little demo of how well um, Windows Vista actually can run on um, well low powered hardware such as such as this it's not a bad experience and it definitely in my opinion beats the built in Linux that comes with this because it's getting very outdated now so um, like I said Windows 7 maybe if you made it small might be a better choice haven't tried it um, but I would recommend probably sticking with Windows XP for this machine uh, because you can install a full version of XP without having to cut anything down and of course everything works out of the box anyway thank you for watching this is the phone update video um, catch us again next time thanks for watching